Hi guys, just going to unpack my order from Seller Marines. It's the first time I've ordered from Seller. Uh, seen, seen a few things on their site before, but never actually ordered any fish online. Always tend to try and support local reef shops. But due to the uh, Christmas period and, and whatnot, I decided to go for ordering one from a new seller. Quite a big box for what we've got. Um, and I can already see there's, <laughs> there's quite a few empty bags of water. Heat pack, not really warm at all anymore. There's an empty bag of water. There's one peppermint shrimp uh, dealing with a bit of Aptasia. So I decided to pick up a couple of uh, peppermint shrimp to see if they can start helping reduce their numbers. There's another big bag of water. Just empty water to fill out the box, I guess. Some turbo snails, four of those. Another peppermint shrimp, decent size, so I'm feeling a bit better about that. And then the main reason I ordered from this seller, luckily the fish is still alive, whether the camera's picking that up. It's a juvenile blue eye coal tank. So I'm gonna get these guys acclimated and I'll show you getting them into the tank. So it's been about half an hour, uh, been drip acclimating everything into a bucket. Uh, first thing that's gonna go in is the snails. I can't remember whether these uh, self right itself. So we're just gonna pop them in and see if one of them will stick to the glass because they're all actually stuck onto each other at the minute. That's not gonna happen so we'll drop them down there and luckily they've all they've all landed uh, foot side down anyway. So that's good. The next thing to go in is the tang. To catch him out of the bucket. So yeah, the next thing that's going in is the tang. Uh, quite pale at the moment, but I'm sure it'll it'll colour up as he gets older and as he gets more settled. Let's see if this will fit in. Let's see if he wants to come out on his own. kept tangs in the past but never actually had a bristle tooth tang or a cold tang so it'd be quite interesting to see different behaviours obviously this is only a Red Sea Max 250 so that's why I went for a juvenile but obviously having marine tanks upgrades are always on the cards and there he goes. So guys, that was the doorbell. Another parcel arrived. Pretty sure it's going to be something re reef tank related again. Um, next things in are the peppermint shrimp. So I'll just catch them and show you them going in. Just check to see what's inside the parcel that we've just received. 
I'm uh, dealing with a bit of algae at the moment. Sorry about the noise. So we're going to try out the uh, Brightwell Aquatics Razor. Uh, it's designed to clean and target surfaces of live rock, coral and decoration tank walls and um, to eradicate basically green hair algae, bryopsis, uh, any unwanted algae really. So we'll give that a go. And last but not least, going into the tank, we've got our two peppermint shrimps. It's quite dubious about putting these in. Uh, read, read and watched some real horror stories of, of peppermint shrimp ripping apart torches and hammers. I've not, I've only got one hammer in here at the moment, it's at the back, which is really tiny. But I'll have to uh, keep, a, keep a close eye on them. I know they do a lot of the hunting at night, so we'll see. See how they get on. They, they're a lot bigger than what I th expected them to be as well. Uh, I thought they were going to be quite small, but they're not. They're, they are a decent size. So they've both gone down here. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. There's the tank, settling in nicely. A couple of the clowns have been squaring off at him. Uh, the male Anthea is obviously asserting his dominance, but everything else has been quite all right with him. You can see he's already getting to work, pecking at rocks. And there's the female clown just showing him who's boss. So I'll do, do an update in a couple of weeks, focusing on certain parts of Aptasia in the tank. There's, there's Aptasia on new enough, new enough every frag really. Um, this, this whole rock was from a tank closure, it wasn't mine. Um, there's some, although it doesn't look like it now because it's covered in algae and Aptasia, there is some quite decent so is on here. Uh, scrambled eggs, rasters, it's LA Lakers, there's some hornets, uh, fake lime chilies, uh, woodstocks I think. Um, I have added a few things on here, sorry about the dirt glass, you can see that acan there and just up from that we've got a uh, blaster, well, there is actually about six heads on there. All small, but we'll grow it on. Uh, Palygrandis. And then a few of the Duncans that I just fragged in the last video. They're doing really well. There's one of them. There's the other one. And then there's, there's the other one just there. Um, I do need to move these two and this one. Um, obviously the the bubble tip Nem is enjoying being in the new tank with a lot more space and he's starting to fill out and basically sting everything around it but some good action there of the the tang mingling in with the clowns I just can't wait to see him grow and see him fill in so yeah check back in uh, a couple of weeks I'll do another video check the progress of the tank I am going to be doing something different with the lights as well at the moment this this side of the tank is quite a lot darker so I have ordered some new lights and I'm going to be making a new bracket to install them to fit under the hood everything will be tucked away nicely so yeah check back in see how we get on